Is it okay to get negative thoughts? Am I normal if I get negative thoughts? Why do I get negative thoughts? These questions come to almost every person. I get so many messages on the Get Inspired show, Facebook, Instagram. Is it okay? I don't care if you're single, divorced, married with kids, we all go through this. In today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, we're gonna break down and shake down for you, right? some techniques on how to realize why you're getting the negative thoughts because our brain is installed within fear to protect us and how to overcome it in a seamless way that your life changes because remember life is happening for you not to you stay tuned hey this is jason roselle and welcome to get inspired the official podcast and youtube show that will empower your mind body business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. You know, growing up, I was super negative, as most of you know, and I let any and almost every type of situation turn into a negative mindset change and always playing the victim or always having excuses because of all the things that are happening in life that, guess what? It's all my fault, right? It's, it's I'm not good enough always and i mean always just negative negative i didn't i didn't know how to see the bright side of things and i would always compare myself to others why are they doing better why are they more handsome why are they more successful right playing the blame game the victim game and the comparison game is not going to take you anywhere so if you're watching or listening to this show right now i need you to just take a, a realization moment is is this me right or do I do this sometimes? Because guess what, if you do, it's okay. It's okay not to be okay and it's normal. But we need to recognize why this is happening and how do we get out of this funk, right? Because it really all it is, it's a funk that we're creating. So let's reemphasize number one. I've said this a million times, I'm always gonna repeat myself. You are you. Your brain is a different entity. You control your mind. Your mind doesn't control you right so when you get negative thoughts right you have two ways to go about it either let it eat you up let it sink in and basically identify yourself as this negative person or always just being not good enough that was me right or if you're practicing everything that i teach and millions of other coaches teach but me precisely your daily manifestations your daily motivational journey, journal, journaling, your daily workouts, right? Your daily meditations, right? All these things, which by the way, 10 plus years ago, I was not doing, hence my life was a mess. Um, well, I don't wanna say mess, it just was not nearly as awesome as it is now and peaceful for that matter. When you're not doing these things on a daily basis, right? You can't expect when negative things or situations or thoughts occur, not to influence you in a, in a negative, impactful way, right? So in order to rewire our brain, we must change our daily actions, right? In order for you to cultivate the peace of mind that you deserve to, in order for you to cultivate the desired, awesome, thriving life that you desire and you deserve. Remember that, right? So number one, especially if you're not my client, you need to set a schedule every day with your calendar, right? You need to know what do I have to do on a daily, right? So all of my clients, journaling, they're doing this for five minutes first thing in the morning and five minutes before they go to bed. Your mind is just releasing any kind of thoughts that you have, good, bad, 
the ugly, the awesomeness. Meditation, they're doing meditations. A lot of them do my own guided meditations. You can check it out, look for it on the podcast or the YouTube channel, right? There's AM, there's PM, there's so much, right? What this is doing is putting peace into your body, peace into your soul and your mind so you can be in a really tranquil state, but most importantly, living in this moment, right? Working out, we already know, what does it do? It, it brings the dopamine, the happiness in life and you know, there's no better feeling. It's like there's no workout that was a bad workout because you worked out, you feel good, you feel accomplished, right? So again, now here we go. When, here's the technique, when these negative thoughts happen after you've done all of the things that I just mentioned, there's no way in heck that it's gonna continue eating you up, right? And does it, is it instant? No, this is not a pill. I don't provide magic pills. Those are Band-Aids. If you create and cultivate a lifestyle of doing all the things that I mentioned, the workouts, the meditations, the journaling, etc., you ultimately are creating your lifestyle. So when crap comes into play in your mind, your thoughts, it doesn't affect your day. It doesn't affect your body and emotions having in a, uh, like one of those breakdowns and you're like, I'm not good enough. Remember, like I said, the playing the victim or excuses. How many excuses, right? Remember, when you don't do things, you're only lying to yourself. Do you, know how many, do you know how many people, or me, forget about people. I was lying to others in the past. I was lying to my coaches. I was lying to my mentors. Did you do this? Did you do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was painting a perfect picture. But ultimately, I failed. And that was phase one. Then finally, I was like, you know what? Enough of the crap. I actually followed through and I achieved my goals. So let's take, for example, one of my clients. She could lose over 150 pounds. Right, and she has. I, many people have helped lose over 100 pounds. But once you get there, that doesn't mean you kick back and you're like, oh man, I'm already calientita. I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, and it stops. No, how did she get there? How did my client get there, right? Doing everything that I mentioned and some, right? And she cultivated her lifestyle. That's what you have to be thinking. This is a lifestyle. This is not a quick fix. Jenny Craig or let me go to a three-day retreat and you know get rid of my stress. That, that, that's short-term. You don't want short-term. You want long-term happiness. You want long-term success, right? So at the end of the day, like I said, you either thank yourself or blame yourself. Thank yourself or blame yourself. Which one is it gonna be? If you stick to these types of things and techniques that I'm recommending that has tremendously changed my life and thousands of people I have worked with in one way or another, right? You will see that life is always happening for you, not to you. So when these negative thoughts come about, guess what? It's like, okay, yeah, it's normal. Okay, my brain is wired to keep me protected, living in fear. Stop living in fear. You know, look, I can be a great coach and I still have my bad days. When I have anxiousness, what do I call it? Happy, hyper, happy, hyper, happy. Okay, I'm overthinking. It's a good thing. You're blessed if you're hyper and you're happy. But do something with it. Don't sit there and get on your phone and scroll through Instagram all day. Oh, okay, let me see what everybody else is doing. I'm in the sidelines. Okay, oh yeah, I'll get to it. No, stop talking about it. Be about it. At the end of the day, you have the power. You are worthy. I want you to literally, as you're watching this, head over to a mirror right now, right? Or grab your phone, put it on selfie mode, put it on record. I'm not kidding. Put it on pause right now and do this. I want you to look in that mirror or in that phone and I want you to say the following. I am awesome. I am worthy. I am fearless. I'm not a quitter and I'm caliente, baby. Woo! You felt that, right? Damn it. You're getting the gist. Don't hold back. Get up, bounce around, get happy. Remember, we get ourselves in a happy state. We're not born happy. Nobody is, right? So really, I mean it from the bottom of my heart, especially if you're not a client and you're just finding about the Get Inspired show. Look into my programs. If you're like stuck or you don't even know where to start, you're like, you know what? I want to really transform my life, my physique, my business my relationships with myself and others, right? Learn about the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Learn about the 12 Week Caliente Mind Body program. There's just so much awesome content and there's even free stuff for you. I have a free six-day challenge. I have a free fat loss ebook. I have so much. 
free, 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 but you gotta put in the work, right? Because you're gonna get so many results from the free stuff if you start there, that you're like saying, you know what, I wanna invest into myself. I deserve it. And if you already have invested in yourself, stop throwing the days away. Don't talk about it, be about it. As always, get inspired, stay inspired, keep it caliente, and I'll see you in the next, wait, before I say, I'll see you in the next one. Take a screenshot of this, please. Tag me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Let me know if I served you in a way that inspired you. And maybe this will inspire other people. Share it with your friends, your family. I mean it. Throw me one of these. Leave me some comments. I'll see you on the next one. I love y'all. Seriously. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.